Hi, it's Katie Cannon, founder of Gold Medal Coaching and your host on our Gold Medal Weekly Show. So welcome to episode three. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest mistakes that I see and how you can overcome them as a new, brand new business owner. So this episode is sponsored by our brand new summit, which is launching um, on mid-October, which is really exciting, where we're interviewing 21 amazing health and wellness experts on the subject on success versus burnout. So if you'd like to get free access and hear all their amazing knowledge, tune in, keep tuned in, shall I say, at the end, where I'll give you details on how to become a part of the summit. So the other day, I did a Facebook Live on procrastination. We've got so much feedback and that inspired me to create this episode. So I came across so many, you know, I come across, shall I say, so many exciting, amazing, inspirational people, but they are just scared. They're scared of what they think. They're scared of someday they might do it. They're scared of what people may think or if they fail or something goes wrong or if they lose money. And we all know them people, right? I have bundles of potential. They know they have bundles of potential, but something is just holding them back. I'm sure you know a few. Okay. But it frustrates me so much. I just want to sometimes shake them and say that you can do it. You can absolutely do it. And I absolutely believe in you. But I know you're listening to this podcast. You're listening to this. This is not you. You're an action taker. You're wanting to move forward. You might just need someone to hold your hand. You're fed up of the excuses you're telling yourself. You know you've got to take action by putting one foot in front of the other and taking inspired action. So I'm really hoping that this episode is really going to help you. We want to know what's holding you back. So let's go. Procrastination. Procrastination is, and I'm going to split my points up for you into almost like a table. So get a piece of paper and draw a line down the middle of the piece of paper and have the excuses on one side and how you can overcome them on the other. So procrastination, you might be feeling overwhelmed, lack of focus, passion, you know, there's no passion. You're, you're feeling like you're excited about this subject, you're excited about your business, but you feel like you're still lacking that passion. You're still lacking something still holding you back and how you can overcome it. Now, the first one is overwhelm comes when you have too many ideas. You've got no clarity, no focus. Your head is everywhere. And please go back to one of my earlier podcasts where I talk about um, how to really simplify and get started in your business. And one of them is creating, you know, that clear focus. Because I talk about, it's the episode where I talk about burnout um, and how to avoid burnout as an entrepreneur, and especially as a new entrepreneur. Get focus on that new idea. Get focus on that clarity. <clears throat> Make it simple. Business should be simple. There's so many times in the last 12 years of being an entrepreneur where I've made things so, so complicated, and I've confused myself, alone, my team, and everybody else around me. Keep it simple. Now, when you feel complete overwhelm is normally when you're lacking that passion. When you feel like I should be passionate about this or you feel you should be doing it. I want you to really journal, get a journal, write down your thoughts. Do you feel you should be doing it because other people have told you you should be doing it? Does it light you up? Does it excite you? Or when you feel or you think about your business, does it really excite you? Do you really think about the potential and what you could give back? Because when you really feel like that, the simple steps and creating your business come next because you're not procrastinating anymore. You're clear, you're focused, you're getting it done. Lack of self-worth. Number two is when we're talking about procrastination. So self-worth is you just holding yourself back are you lacking confidence can i do this what do people think what if i fail they are your excuses in your head how are you going to overcome this 
How are you going to stop procrastinating, build your self-worth and overcome this to the next level? Getting yourself a coach, of course, number one, yay! Number two, personal development. What are you putting in your ears? What are you listening to? What are you reading? Journaling your thoughts, doing positive affirmation, networking, surrounding yourself with people that believe in you and know that you can do it and with the right support network. If you think of it like this way, right? You want to start gymnastic classes, okay? You want to start gymnastic classes. You've never done it before, but you're just going to try by yourself. Are you going to get anywhere by just practicing by yourself without having someone coaching you? No, business is no different. If you're not inspiring yourself, if you're not putting yourself with the right people, if you're not being coached in the right way, you're not going to succeed. People's opinions. I want you to always remember that other people's opinions will not build your future and pay your own bills. Their opinions are their opinion. That's great. Everyone has opinion on billions of subjects. If you are passionate about it, you believe, or you're working on believing in yourself, you can really make it happen if you get rid of that negative self-talk and thinking about other people's opinions. Slow growth, number three. So do you have slow growth as you're building your business? So do you fear that, and this is one of my favorites, because as a newbie, as a brand new entrepreneur, you need to embrace growth, failure, always improving, always trying. You may start with an idea. You might start with a strategy. You might need to pivot. You might need to try a new strategy. You might need to always, you're always needing to be growing. The amount of times I've started something, it didn't work. We've improved, we've reviewed. I've started something, didn't work. We've reviewed, we've improved. But I want you to always be thinking, you're growing you, you, the business owner, and your business, okay? I'm gonna say that again. You're building you and the business. You can't just grow the business. You have gotta grow and build your strength, your mindset, and everything that comes with it. I want you to think a little bit like you're building a house. So a house comes with bricks, cement, and obviously you need some strong foundations. You're building it wide, strong, solid. If you have a knock, right? Think of your business as a house. If you have a knock, a strategy doesn't work. Someone says no, someone belittles you. Someone says, I don't think you're right for this. What someone says, well, who do you think you are doing this, right? That is just a knock to the cement. That is just a knock on your bricks. That is just someone maybe taking a brick out, okay? But you're still there. Your foundations are strong. You're still growing. And you're like, that's all cool. Take away a brick, knock the cement. But I'm still here and I'm going to build on that stronger. And I remember my dad was a builder. He's retired now. But I remember he was building an extension on our house. And I was about six or seven, I think. And I remember, and I laugh back now because I remember bringing the whole school, the whole class, sorry, marching around to my house because I think we were learning about building. And I was like, my dad's a builder. Everyone can come watch him build. And I remember us all sitting along the wall watching my dad build this extension. And he was like, this is a brick, children. This is cement. This is what we do with it. And I remember it so clearly because I remember being so proud that everyone was at my house. Um, and I just want you to feel when you're building your business, you're building your story, you're building your business, you're building you as a brand. And building you will be your biggest asset you can ever ask for in your business. You're building your mindset, your armor, and you're building yourself for future successes. You can't build a business by being the same person you are today. You're not going to build a six-figure success business, a seven-figure success business, an eight-figure success business by remaining who you are. And I'm not saying you're not amazing. I'm not saying you've got to completely change your personality. You've got to completely change, but you've got to change this. You've got to change this 
in terms of stronger resilience, tenacity. Be so strong that things like knock you and you're like hitting them off. Like someone once told me to be a weeble, right? You know, like a weeble. So when you're like, like this, right? And you fall down and you're like, yeah, I'm back again. Okay. And then you fall down again and then you come back again. That's a weeble. I fall down and keep getting back up again. I fall down and keep getting up again. And what feels hard today will be easy next year. What feels hard next year will feel easy in two years time. So just remember when you're building your business and you're worried about procrastination and you're worried that you're not moving forwards, they're my key points for you on how to avoid procrastination. Building your self-worth, building you. Don't be worried about slow growth to really avoid procrastination and get going. So summit, as I was sharing at the beginning, below this episode and all of our socials, you'll find our link of how to access and opt into our amazing summit and really tune in and listen. The success versus burnout is the subject to 21 amazing speakers who are sharing and breathing their knowledge into you. So please tune in because it's going to be absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for listening. As always, leave us a comment in the box, share your aha moments because I'd absolutely love to hear them and we will see you next week. Bye.